Hey, how's it going, guys? Today we're gonna be recording the rectangle overlap question. So a rectangle is represented as a list x1, y1, x2, y2. x1, y1 are the coordinates of its bottom left corner, and x2, y2 are the coordinates of its top right corner. Two rectangle overlap if the area of their intersection is positive. Um, so to be clear. Two rectangle that only touch at the corner or edges do not overlap. So if our input is two rectangles, um, and return whether they overlap or um, not. So um, so let me draw a little bit. Mm, so let's see. If this is rectangle one, right, and uh, we got x one y1 here, uh, the bottom left corner. Um, here we got x2, y2 here, right? And uh, suppose there is like a rectangle that is like overlapping. How do we determine if um, just according to the coordinates, whether they are overlapping or if they are like, for example, like this, um, they are not overlapping, right? How do we determine this. So if you think about how to determine their intersection, it can be really kind of like difficult because, well, you have to say, well, like, uh, maybe like re what, what if like a uh, rectangle one is uh, to the left of rectangle two and if it, what if it's like to the right and it's like becoming really complicated. Um, so there is another way, which is to determine how um, two rectangles do not overlap. And if we can know um, the condition that they do not overlap, we can just like, so, so for example, like if in the, uh, some, some condition, they do not overlap, we just return false, right? And if those uh, conditions do not satisfy, uh, they just return true. So in, uh, for this question, we are going to actually figure out in what conditions they do not overlap. OK, mm, and um, then it become like quite easy. Because for two rectangles, um, for, for them to be not overlapping to each other, they are just basically either um, the rectangle two is to the left, um, uh, to the uh, rectangle one, or to the right, or um, to like, uh, which is like, I think above rectangle one or under rectangle one, right? Those are the four conditions. So if, for example, if uh, rectangle two is to the left of rectangle one, so no matter, like rectangle two can be like anywhere to the left, right? Can be anywhere, anywhere, like no matter how up or how down or how left rectangle two is, it is not going to overlap with uh, rectangle one, right? Um, Similarly, if rectangle two is to the right, no matter how rectangle two like moves, it won't overlap with uh, rectangle one. And the same goes to um, the rectangle above it or below it. Okay, once we know that, um, we can write, uh, write uh, our codes. Because for example, to make rectangle two left to uh, rectangle uh, one, we just remember this is the x2, y2, right? So we just have to make x2 less or equal to x1, right? Less or equal to equal is because in our uh, question, it, asks, it says that if two rectangles only touch the corner or edges, they do not overlap. So if they, there is a rectangle two here, it 
only touch the edges, they do not overlap. Okay, so let's code it up. Uh, so first of all, let's write uh, the left one. So let me if in this conditions uh, return false. Right, uh, right. Else, else we just return true. Right. So we have to first of all write the left. So for this condition, uh, x two rectangle. So rec two x two x two. 